Martha, what can we help you with today? Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. So I am only, I'm still only at the very beginning of module two, okay, but I've been very good. Well, I've done the first two videos and I've been doing thousands and thousands of notes and all that kind of stuff. And I did the power productivity course as well. So I'm okay. very good about um, being regimented with my timing. So thank you for all of that. That's really very much appreciated. Um, so I was trying to think of a question. It's difficult because I'm so much at the beginning and I haven't done a lot of practicing, obviously, yet. I've done all the action sheets, but mm -hmm. I suppose quite a general question. Right. Out of the box thinking, is that something that can be helpful within this career? It's probably I am. Pro it's probably still overshare. It's a relatively new sort of discovery for me. I am very neurodivergent. Okay. I am very not a neurotypically brained person. <laughs> so, um, I certain things sort of confuse me in the world. Um, but yeah, I, often I would think in a different way, maybe to everybody else yeah. in the room. Is that something that can be harnessed? Do you yeah. think? Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You know, the more that you, the more that you dig into copywriting and the more that you kind of start to notice um, the copy around you in the world, the more often you're going to see very similar things from brand to brand. Like when fall comes, you're going to read all kinds of stuff about like fall for these savings and just everybody's yeah. doing the same thing. So the more, the more different yeah. if you can bring a different perspective to your work yes that is incredibly incredibly valuable and you'll be able to to ask questions in a different way and from a different perspective that your client may not have even considered mm -hmm. um I think it's I I think it's going to be very very valuable for both you and your clients that get the opportunity to work with you and and experience the way that your mind approaches their projects. Yeah. Yeah. I think the one thing that may help maybe you're coming module two. I'm trying to think, I think it's in module three for the concepting exercise. And I feel like that's where you'll really start to be able to concept ideas and take different angles and approach it with just a fresh perspective. Um, as you continue, and I would I think sometimes people forget that that concepting phase is critical to every single project. You're wanting to set a time, set aside a time. It's basically brainstorming, concepting, brainstorming, similar thing of brainstorming the angle that you want to approach before you even begin putting words to paper, before you begin, you know, really refining the copy. You might have some words, you might be playing around with ideas, but you're just brainstorming, kind of brain dumping all of the different approaches. Um, and you want to do that for every single project. I think the one thing as you get into that, it may or may not help, but setting a time limit for yourself might be something you have to do if you're all of a sudden like I could go in 5,000 different angles and have all of these ideas so it might be just reining that in to say okay I'm going to set a timer on my phone for an hour whatever it is depending on the project it might be less it might be more um, but just so you're not spending okay I just spent eight hours coming up with ideas and then your client's like, um, wait, we, we just wanted an email that was, you know, two sentences and you're like, wait, but yeah. Um, so some, something to, as you get into that, if you start to notice, okay, I could take indefinite amount of time, just setting that boundary for yourself and saying, okay, I took an hour. Do I need 15 more minutes mm -hmm. or, you know, just, so you can start to gauge what that time truly mean, you know, when I think you have an advantage in another way too, in that you are very cued in to the way that your brain works to you probably have a sense of when you're starting to go off in a different direction, when you're starting to lose focus, when you're starting to, in a way that most neurotypical people don't have, because most neurotypical people haven't had to, haven't had to notice that and pay attention to it. And I think that in, in that sense, you have another benefit in that you have that insight into yourself that a lot of neurotypical people have never had to learn. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be very beneficial as you are learning, as you are practicing, as you are 
working on tasks to, you know, like building your website and scheduling time with clients and your all USP. that kind of stuff, your USP. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, I think that's really going to come in handy for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is a wonderful responses. Thank you. <laughs> But true. Thank you very true. much. Very, true very network. true. No, I mean, it's one, of, it's one of those things, isn't it? Because I mean, it's definitely, I suppose it's quite, it's a, it's, it's a good question. I know it's a good question, yeah. but obviously because I'm still so much, you know, very much at the beginning of it all, you know, it is still kind of coming from a place of sort of secret, massive insecurity. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, that, that's wonderful answers. Thank you. And you're right. Yeah, setting, setting timers has been brilliant. And seriously, okay. being able to schedule studying every morning at a specific time and not being tough on myself and giving myself sort of five, 10 minutes leeway, stuff like that. It's been really, it's the part of my day I'm kind of looking forward to the most at the moment. So, and I'm really enjoying the course and I'm enjoying watching, you know, the coaching calls and the Facebook group seems like a nice place. Lots of very wordy people, but I suppose that's to be, <laughs> that's to be expected. I suppose <laughs> I'm there as well. So. Wordy, we work on it in our copy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can be concise and copy and then we get on social and we're like, I don't have to refine this. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. I know, I know, but no, you're right. I think, and yeah, sort of developing self-awareness. It's very much, there's, it's, it's all, it's all a very transitional period. So it's, it's lovely to have that reassurance and I will. Sure. Yeah. And I know we mentioned USP. I think that probably comes in module six, I want to say I think so. of the foundations. Yeah. Um, so is it unique selling proposition slash what's another P it's unique can... selling point, unique point, selling point, proposition. point. Yeah. Um, when you do get to that, this might be a, the fact that you know that this is a, a skill of yours and it, you might use that in your USP to say, because I'm neurodivert, you might use different words. Here's what that means for my copy and why I'm such an effective copywriter compared to other folks. So it's something to keep in mind when you do get to that point, that this could be an asset, your angle a major for asset. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. I know. I know. It's, 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 I can reassure myself that I can continue shouting about this. I don't have to not shout about yes, it. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, these are so good. These are so, so good. I'm still so daunted, but I'm really enjoying it all so far and the action sheets and everything. Yeah. It's all really good. Well, I want to, I really want to give you credit for putting time on your schedule. And there's so many people that are like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know I need to know, know I need to do that. I know that would help. And they don't do it. So just the fact that you have been following the power of productivity and scheduling time in your calendar, that all you are already on a really, really good foundation for success. Yeah. So good for you. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that, you know, feeling daunted or feeling nervous or feeling self-doubt, everybody feels that everybody. And if, frankly, if someone didn't feel that, I would be very concerned. Thank you. Thank awesome. you. Thank you very much. Well, no, thank you've, you, you've really heartened me again. Cause mm -hmm. yeah, sort of it's, it's good. I wake up every morning excited, but equally then kind of as the day progresses, I'm like, I should be doing this more. I should be keeping going. I should be the person who's getting paid after doing it for 10 days. But I just know that I need my brain to, to keep it in, yes. you know? Yeah. 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 And you don't want to do so much that you end up burning out either. That's a big a common mistake. People go, this is great. And they do it for four hours and then they're so burned out that they can't get back to it for a couple of days or a week and then mm -hmm. it becomes like oh I should get back to that so no the way you're doing it is yeah. absolutely long, long term on, strategy yeah. yeah well and to your point I feel like that anyone who goes out and has no foundation in copywriting and says I'm going to get a client in five days which people can do it but if you haven't actually trained or practiced you might get a client and then you might lose, never work with that client again. So mm -hmm. keeping a long-term strategy and long-term goal in mind is, is smart. You're yeah. the best. You're the absolute right best. You. Should I, I've been taking a day, I've been taking the weekend off. I've been doing it five days a week and taking smart. two days off. Is that smart? Yes. yes. Very smart. Very smart. Rather yeah. than keeping at it every day, because it is always very tempting. You know, it comes mm -hmm. around to like 1030 is my allotted study time on a, on a, in the morning time. And it gets to that time at the weekend. And I'm like, I want to go yeah. into my little, I want to go into my room with the laptop. I want it, to, but I suppose probably actually letting stuff consolidate and then doing yeah, let it marinate. Schedule, sort of, I sort of review and schedule on a Sunday is kind of probably. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. 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 You know, if you're, you're really into it and you're really, you know, just start noticing the copy that's around you, you know? when you go up for a walk and you see 
signs in store windows or what comes, comes in the mail or when you're looking for something online, the banner ads you see or what's in your inbox, you know, but, but do I definitely give your brain some time off. It needs some yeah. time for it all to sink in. And even as you start practicing too, you know, I think a lot of people, what gets them is, you know, they'll, they'll write one of the actions to do one of the exercises, post in the group for feedback and then be waiting. Where's the feedback. And then they <laughs> want to incorporate it right away. Give your brain time to sleep on it. Yeah. You might come back fresh to it too, that, you know, you write something one day, sleep on it. And the next day you look at it and you say, okay, I actually have ideas for ways to improve this. So, you know, first draft, sleep on it. Another draft that might, I would not might, it will help. I feel like the, yeah. <laughs> so you're not feeling like I have to get it perfect in one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Yeah, you, you are keep so us welcome. posted. Yes, keep us posted do. on your progress. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Cheers. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Martha. Like what you heard? Hit subscribe so you never miss a video. And if you're ready to take the first step toward becoming a copywriter yourself, sign up for a free video training right here.